This is the Schmo with the Pro, with the future Hall of Famer, the Flyweight GOAT, the former UFC Flyweight Champion, the current one champion, Flyweight Champion, Demetrius Money Mouse Johnson, Las Vegas, here at the Fit Club, promoting Las Vegas IV. Vegas IV, how we doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. It's great to see you, man. Las Vegas. Yeah, it's great to see you. I this this is your hometown. So usually when we do these interviews, it's always Arizona last time at uh, Fight Ready. Then you came to Washington State at AMC, and you've also came to one of my fights in overseas. So here we are in your hometown, your backyard, Las Vegas, promoting Vegas IV. Well, the pleasure's all the schmoes. Talk to the schmo for a second, man. You're the champion again. You beat Adriano Marias. It was the rematch. It was one on Prime 1, the debut on one championship, man. You got your hand raised. It was certainly the result you were expecting. Yeah, you know, Adriano's an amazing athlete, a great champion, the longest uh, reigning flyweight champion in one championship. <clears throat> uh, you know, like I said, I was going to go out there and just just uh, try to oppose my will. And, you know, I, I felt the first fight he got me, and I was just... When I think about the first fight is that I was just trying to rush it, trying to rush it, trying to rush it. And I felt like the second fight, I was able to get my wits about me. Obviously, having the Raw Tank fight too, somebody who's a very dominant striker, and be able to go, you know, two rounds with him. And then obviously fight Adriano for the second time. You know, I'm grateful I was able to come out on top of him. You've heard and knew, you've heard and still, you've heard it multiple times. Is it harder defending the champ or becoming the champ in your eyes, champ? Honestly, I think it's just hard just to get in the gym and step into the cage. You know, the long training camps, the eight weeks, 12 weeks, whatever it may be you do, that's the hardest thing. You know, you can win fights, lose fights, you know, defend the belt. You know, I've done it 11 times uh, consecutively. So I think the hardest thing is just getting in the cage every single time. Before one on Prime 2, the Schmo was talking to the VP, Rich Franklin. We're talking about when one will make its debut on U.S. soil. He was teasing the Schmo that he would love to see that grudge match between you and Adriano Marias right here debut in the U.S. of soil on Amazon Prime. Yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's whatever one chip she wants. Right now, I'm in a, the stage of my life where 36 years old, just, you know, I, I believe I'm the first champion to, to win a world title in the biggest organization in North America that just solely focused on mixed martial arts and the biggest organization martial arts in Asia, you know, one championship that covers kickboxing, Muay Thai, submission wrestling, uh, mixed martial arts, I mean, you name it, we cover it. We, we celebrate the home of martial arts. So right now I'm in a phase where I'm trying to obviously build uh, different business ventures. Um, so when that when that time arises, wherever they want me to fight, whether it's Adrian Marias, if it's Kyra Akamatop, or if it's grappling Mikey Musumeci, I will be ready, prepared, and go out there and, and give it give it hell. Yeah, speaking of Mikey Musumeci, man, this is his home state right here. He lives in Las Vegas, but he's nowhere to be found. I thought you were going to be grappling with that guy. <laughs> uh, Mikey, he's traveling the world. He's an amazing athlete, um, the world champion. I think he's the first legit world champion uh, in an organization that covers. Uh, grappling so yeah man I, I told him I was like you know there's a lot that goes into competing at, uh, against Mikey Misimichi as a grappler right so you know I think the biggest thing that that I have to look at grappling him is obviously the, the injuries that can sustain from grappling him right like you know those guys those their their grappling is so far superior than mine which I'm I'm totally fine with that's what they that's their bread and butter um, you know, the, the leg locks, the knee locks, you know, the ACLs, the, the heel hooks, it's, it, it's a risk I'll have to take, which I'm totally fine taking, but I don't know if one championship is going to risk that, like, hey, we're going to have our champion grapple, the, you know, the grappling champion. If he, takes, if he tears his ACL, being 36 years old, he might be, his career might be done. I'm like, yeah, it might be done, but if you guys want me to do it, I'll do it. Just know that's what's on the line. He's a company guy. Back in 2017, when you were fighting for the UFC, you were linked to a fight with TJ Dillashaw yep. and never materialized. Yep. You ended up fighting Ray Borg. This upcoming weekend, TJ Dillashaw, he's fighting for the Bantamweight strap against Aljamain Sterling. They both have wrestling backgrounds. Obviously, we know about TJ Dillashaw and what he's had to overcome amongst the allegations and obviously what he did injecting himself with the stuff that he injected himself with. With that said, who do you give the edge to for this match? 
The biggest thing that, like, as I sit back as a fan of, of both these athletes, Azamar Sterling and TJ Doshaw, is I look at TJ Doshaw and he's gone through a lot of wars. Um, that last fight with Cody Sanhagen was did a, a number on him. He got surgery on his knees. Um, him coming down to 125 to fight Henry Cejudo, get it knocked out. So that he's been through a lot of wars. I feel like Azamar Sterling, he's kind of coming to his own right now. He seems healthy. He seems big. He seems to embrace being a backpack. He knows what he's good at, right? He looked really good when he fought uh, Peter Yan. Um, the biggest thing is I give the edge to Azamar Sterling. The only reason why is because I feel like when I look at him, he seems healthy. He seems happy. He seems... Uh, he's embracing this backpack role. And I think when you see an athlete who's embracing a certain role, it makes him more dangerous. You brought up his name, Henry Cejudo. He's the new training partner when you're down in Arizona. Yeah. Do you think the UFC will give him the winner of that matchup to let him fight for the Bantamweight strap? It's hard, man. There's so many good guys in the 135 pound division. You got Sugar Sean O'Malley taking on Peter Young. These guys are, are putting in the work, working for that title shot. Not saying Henry Cejudo isn't. I mean, he really isn't. I mean, he's he's retired. He's doing his own content. He is back in the USADA pool, um, and he's slowly getting. I mean, he's in shape. I, I've trained with him. Um, it just all depends on what Henry wants to do, right? I tell Henry all the time. I was like, Henry, do you want to fight? and just work your way up to the title, or do you just want to get in the title shot? If you want to get a title shot, you just gotta, you, you're waiting on the beck and call of the UFC, right? So it all depends on what's gonna happen. There's other guys ahead of Henry Sudo that have been working towards it. If Henry Sudo gets a title shot, it's because his accolades and him being who he is, Triple C. One of the few men on planet Earth to beat you is Dominic Cruz. A few months ago, he was inside the octagon. He lost to Cheeto Vera. Many saw that as a title eliminator fight. What do you do next if you're Dominic Cruz? How do you climb the ladders? He got a title, title shot left in him in his, you know, Hall of Fame career. I think the only person who can answer that is Dominic Cruz, right? I think at the end of the day, it all depends on what Dominic Cruz wants to do. If Dominic Cruz wants to continue to fight, I think you let the man do that, right? I mean, he was doing very well in that fight, right? Then he got caught, which it happens, you know? If you go back and watch my fight against Dominic Cruz in 2012, I was trying to land the same fucking high kick to the left because he goes, huh. Goes, goes like that every single time, right? Chito Vera, obviously uh, tallest stature, uh, stature, was able to land that left high kick and and, and uh, catch him. Caught right? him when he lay into the he side. He landed to the side. It, it's a game, you know. It's a game of inches, right? And he just got caught that day. Other than that, he looked great. He looked phenomenal. Obviously, uh, uh, Dominic Cruz has something going great for him. He's an amazing analyst, and I think if he wants to continue to fight, let him do it. Are we gonna go get our IVs, our legal stuff? I know it's USADA approved, right? Some B12. Yep, yep. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're going there to get some uh, some IVs, get ourselves uh, hydrated. You know, it, it, it's a market that's untapped. I truly believe that, and I think you know, with me and my business partner Christian uh, Connor uh, launching it here in Las Vegas, and we plan on doing it to other states as well. You know, people don't realize, you know, when you're in a conference, which is one of the main places here in Las Vegas, you're doing conferences, 12 hours. I was. On, when I got here, a gentleman says, yeah, I got a, you know, eight hour conference today on fiber, fiber networks. You know, we basically deliver internet to rural areas and I'm, I'm going to be absolutely exhausted. They're going to have shit food and I'm going to have to go out there and, you know, get my mineral somehow. And I was like, that's why we have Vegas IV. The businessman. Final message for all the Mighty Mouse fans out there worldwide. Yeah, if you guys are here in Las Vegas, look us up, Vegas IV. Make sure you check us out on One Championship and check me out on YouTube, Mighty Gaming, and also Instagram. I think it's Mighty. And then on Instagram, it's Mighty Mouse. So, other than that, make sure you follow Shamel, make sure you follow Helen. Do you guys know Helen is starting to swim? She wants to make the Olympic team. So, make sure you guys support Ellen. Till that. I'm out. He's the pro, I'm the Shmo Las Vegas.